Hi everyone, this is Richard. In this video, we are going to expand upon what we already know and try to make a simple application and expand upon that and actually learn some features um, as we go on. Okay, so this is a little bit different from previous videos and even the last series where I just mostly reviewed the different ideas behind programming. Now we just kind of have to, this is the best way I can figure it out, um, just do stuff and learn along the way. It's the easiest I can imagine, um, and that's where I see most videos teaching that method as well, okay? So um, what we're going to try to do is create a body mass index calculator. So what body mass index is, is basically what a person's height per given, excuse me, weight per given height should actually be. It's not a perfect test, and some people, nobody ever claims that it is. Some people get very vehement about, oh, it's not that accurate itself. It's a general guideline, and it's not to be taken 100% without any context. So if a guy is a big, huge, bulk, bulky mass of muscle, and he's, his body mass index is very high, you don't just necessarily call him overweight. You actually have to look at the person, actually do an evaluation, and you actually have to think, unfortunately. And um, so just keep that in mind. So it, just in case some people think that, hey, this is completely useless, it, it's not. It's it's something that you have to interpret within the context, like all things. So um, what how you calculate it, this is the equation right here. Basically, body mass index equals weight times 703 divided by height. And this is in... Um, pounds and this is in um, inches for those people who do not live in the United States don't worry we'll get to that in just a second okay so this is just a basic program and we'll start ex uh, expanding upon that in the very near future so let's call the this I'm gonna make it a function because all we're return returning is just one thing right so body mass index and for right now I'm gonna say num weight and num height okay and I'm gonna say return um, weight times 703 divided by height times height you could do the square but at the same time we, we need to import math and I don't think we really need to do that so just height times height so we'll return weight times 703 pounds divided by height in inches times height in inches. Okay, we have to do this first so it divides it all. And it's that simple. All right, so we'll get back to here. What is your height? What I envision is it'll be a height. We're going to have a break. So the next line, what is your weight? Next line, and a submit button. Okay, let's save this. Let's see what it looks like. Basically, it looks like this. Enter your height, enter your weight, and I envision that somewhere it's it's going to list it right here, or it could be a new pop-up window, and it says what your value actually is. We'll just try to list it right here for right now, okay? How are we going to do that? We need to get the values for these number input element, height, weight, submit. And we'll query selector each of these, because we have to, right? We have to get each and every one, and make them make objects out of them. Great. Now that we have them, what do we actually do? Well, once we enter information, hang on, once we enter information right inside here, then we activate it by hitting submit. Then you'll obtain this value, this value, and you'll list it down, okay? So let's get here and say query, yeah, query, no, no, I'm sorry, submit.onclick.listen. We just learned this, remember? And anonymous function and I'm gonna say um, in here I'm gonna say you know I'm actually giving it a second thought um, if I return a value right inside of here where's it gonna go it's not gonna go anywhere right so I'm gonna have to make the value equal to something so I'm gonna say string BMI right so then I'll say BMI equals body mass index weight height okay so weight height um is that correct weight height weight height yes okay but this 
weight is a number input element. It's not actually a number like it is down here. So we're going to have to change it into a number um, value. We could do several things. The value, but that's going to be returned as a string, right? It's going to return as a string. We don't want a string. We want a number. Value as number. And then height. Dot. That's where auto completion really com helps out a lot. Okay. Value as number. Right? And then I'm going to say query selector um, result. Results. What is that? Result. Result dot text equals. I'm sorry, what, what is this? This is a number, right? So it's. It could be an integer or it could be a double. Expected to find at line three, a line 11. Oh, I, I, I didn't finish that. Text, um, query selector text equals um, BMI. Okay, this has to be a string body mass index dot two string. Let's see if that works. There we go. So we're returning a number. Okay, we can't, can't do that. We have to change it to a string. So BMI, change it to, to um, query selector, the div element right below. It's going to give us the answer itself. And it's going to print it out. Hopefully that works. Cross our fingers. We look for any errors, no issues right inside of here. So what is my height? I weigh, I'm six feet tall, so it's, well, 70 inches, close enough. And I weigh 180 pounds, and it is not working. Okay, so what's going on here itself? On click dot listen, BMI, string BMI equals body mass, weight value as um, number, height value as number, dot to string, Query selector result dot text <laughs> and result height times height. So I don't see a problem here. ID result submit result. Oops, oh, right here. I'm surprised the editor didn't actually pick that up. So it, it made a big difference. It was trying to look for the, the, um, tag result, not the ID result. Okay, again, 70, 170, something like that. Whoops. You have to actually type it in correctly, right? And so there's my body mass index is 24.3. All right. Nice and simple. And, and how we actually do that. All right. Easy calculator. However, um, it could be a lot more complicated than this. In the future videos, let's go ahead and do what we can about changing this a little bit better, adding features, and take, removing some of the bugs, and we'll go from there, okay? Oh, by the way, real quickly, um, let me, before I do that, instead of this, how about if I popped up a new window? How do we do that? You know those pop-ups that annoy everybody? Well, I like to be annoying sometimes, so I'm going to say, instead of just typing it on there, I'm going to say window.alert. Remember the syntax. There has to be a node, then there has to be the method. So the alert is on the window because you're going to pop up, right? So you're not going to pop up here. By definition, you can't. You have to open up a new window. So the new node is going to be the window. So window.alert, and then it opens up some type of string. You know, every time I, I, I run something, I always have to cross my fingers a little bit because some of this is a little bit magic at times. 160 or whatever. Um, and so it's 22.951, whatever, but it's a pop-up window. Okay. So window dot, what did that happen? Okay. Window, window dot alert versus, um, query selector dot text. Okay. Thank you very much.